Hi, we're your coaches Piers and Andy from Me and My Golf and today is all about my swing analysis. Andy, what have we got in store? Right, today we're going to be showing Matthew Brunt how to hit higher, more consistent iron shots and Piers has had a new set of clubs. Let's take charge of your game. So a massive thank you to everyone who's entered the Swing Analysis competition. We really enjoy doing this. So what you need to do to get involved is go to Facebook, Instagram or Twitter or even post your name down below in the comment section to enter the competition. Actually, post a comment of why you need to win it because the name's already going to be on there. So post a comment of why you need to win it. We'd love to know what you even, need to help with. Even better, even better. So Andy, we're on the 18th tee at the Asprey. Season's upon us. It's getting a little warmer here. Really looking forward to do this swing analysis of Matthew Brunt. Now, Matthew is a uh, 20 handicapper, hits the ball relatively straight. He's got a really good goal swing, by the way, but he's struggling with his trajectory, hitting the ball too low throughout the set, whether it's a short iron or a driver, not getting the trajectory on the shot. So, right. and when we're told this as coaches, there's a few things we want to check out for, but when we see the swing, you're going to see exactly why this happens. So what we're going to do is start from the front on view, first of all. So in the front on view, looks a solid setup, but the right hand is what we call a little bit strong, um, that can close the club face. So as he's just about to take the club away, the right hand moves a little bit more, and then he goes into his backswing. And the backswing looks really good, but the club face looks a little bit off from this view. So as he goes through, he's using his body really well. So there's a lot of good movements in this golf swing. Now, when we look down the line, we're gonna bear in mind, obviously, how he was holding the golf club there. But when the club goes back in the backswing now, we can see it starts to, get very strong or close. Now, when we see this, we're thinking the ball could go to the left. So as he then goes into the rest of his goal swing, that club face at the top of the backswing is pointing right up to the sky there. So again, we call that a very closed position. Body works really well on the way through. Hands and arms going up quite high when he's actually going through the shot there. So Andy, the goal swing itself looks good. But it looks like we've got a problem with the grip and that's obviously causing a problem with the club face. It is, yeah. When anyone says they're hitting it low, Generally, we got, what we're going to see is a low dynamic loft. So when they get to the golf ball, the loft is taken off the club, so it's giving you that low trajectory. Now, there's multiple reasons this could happen for people, but it sounds like with, well, it looks like with Matthew, what's happening is club face is getting too closed throughout the backswing. So as he comes back down to impact, the loft is taken off. So he's just going to struggle to get that height. And with irons, we want to get that nice, consistent trajectory where the ball is landing softly. It's very difficult when we've got so little loft on the face. Okay, okay. So it looks like we need to look with, uh, at the grip, don't we? The left hand, it looks okay from the images we've got there, but the right hand and actually the shaft angle, etc. there's something we need to do there, isn't there? Okay, so let's go through this. So right hand, as we said, Pierce, it gets a little strong. So strong, what he's saying, it's a little maybe too underneath or to the right on the shaft. Now what Matthew does, he gets it from a little too much underneath with the shaft a little high, but then as you said, Pierce, before he takes it away, there's a little movement to the right, so it actually strengthens that even more. And we see this a lot with players, a lot. don't we? This is not uncommon at all. So he goes a little too strong, so he strengthens it again, and as he swings back now, this is what tends to cause the club to close. So throughout the back swing there, it's closed. It's swinging on a very good angle as well, mm -hmm. which is good. So what we actually want to do with Matthew is it's supposed to go in under and to the right. We're gonna get the right hand, we're gonna get the shaft a little lower to start with. The right hand's gonna go more on the side of the club as opposed to underneath. More of the side, right thumb is certainly over to the left side of the grip. This is gonna put the club face in a more neutral position throughout the okay. golf swing. Now from here, we wanna make sure we, we keep it. He's gonna be tempted to move. <laughs> we're gonna keep this here. Now a great drill that we can use now for getting the club face a little more open in the backswing is just a little waggle. So from here, we're just going to have a little waggle where we feel the handle stays low, waggle and open the face and even set those wrists a little bit. And you can see as I'm doing this, club face is opening up, feeling a lot different to what he would normally get as opposed to handle high and club closed. Just, to, just go back again for me, just maybe halfway back with a closed club face. Go with a closed club face. Closed club face, okay. So Matthew, what's going to happen is obviously, just go and keep going up for me, Andy. So when you're in this position here, you will feel the club will feel actually maybe a little bit heavy because the toe end is out in front of the heel, but as soon as you get the club face into a different position, it will feel a lot lighter. Now, the problem is when you do this, it's gonna feel very alien to you, but don't worry, you'll soon get used to it, but the club will feel as though it's a little bit out of control. Definitely, and Trevor Immelman used to do this. He was mm. a guy who used to sort of have this waggle to start with to get the feeling of his club face. Well, he was someone, Trevor Immelman's problem with him, he struggled to get the ball up in the air sometimes. Exactly, so I'm gonna hit a shot now doing this. So again, handle low, Right hand going on the side like this. I'm going to make sure the right thumb is over to the left side. A little bit of a waggle here to get that feeling of the club opening a little on the way back. Let's see if I can get a nice high shot here on the 18th. 
Oh, beautiful. And certainly some height there, Pierce. By the way, you, that's, that's the first shot that's ever been hit with those golf clubs. And they're not clubs, yours, they're my well. clubs. That's against the rules. Well, it's definitely. the first one you've got at the middle anyway. <laughs> Probably the only one that's going to be out the middle. Okay, the, the one thing I will say with this, Matthew, this is definitely going to help you. It'll take a little bit of time to get used to it. But the one good thing we will say with this, we said that your body moves exceptionally well in your golf swing. It had to move well to try and square the club face up. So the, the poor grip that you had, we will call it a poor grip because it was affecting the ball flight, it was making your body move, which is a really good thing. Now you can just finish it off by putting the grip over that 20. He'll be halving it this year, won't he? Easy. 10 handicap this Easy. year. Guys, hope you enjoyed that. Don't forget, get involved. Post your comments down below and enter the competition, and we'll see you soon. Peace, guys. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed that. And if you haven't already, you better hit that subscribe button to see videos like this every single week. Yes, and see our previous video click here and to see our website where we've got Find a Fairway May, including a very good video series coming soon. Click on the link in the corner.